Oh, this is going to be a short video. Hello, it's me. Starpro has become easier to play. It's really simple. At the beginning, you will choose the longer one. And then all you have to do is figure out a way to fill your board with level 6 cards. Because your hero passive has become. Each card at the end of the turn gains some corresponding elite air units. The quantity is based on the card levels. For maximum production, you want to fill your board with tier 6 cards. You can also choose a passive upgrade for all of your aircraft for current battle phase. I think the first one that gives you 35% chance to dodge incoming attack is the one to pick. To defeat Amon on Torment Plus, you must have everything shaded and sell your Merc compound into General Warfield and then sacrifice them to the Queen of Blades. For the rest, you want more Zerg cards. Unlike the normal version in PvP, they are totally a lie. The Elite Guardian here, however, have longer range, and you can give them even longer range by giving them this Zerg upgrade. Your Queen will be taking all of the damage, and your Guardians hopefully will deal enough damage before the Queen falls. You need this formation because all units kills by Amon's hybrid on Torment Plus get converted into enemy units. For intermediate upgrades, you want Discovery to guarantee a level 6 card. Next to that is the one that gets you to level 6. You can also choose Blood Ritual but it's very risky. For final artifact, Tactical Equipment is the best, giving all units upgrades. This will allow you to have full army against Phoenix. You should also save up some Energizer and give your unit inner power in case of Kerrigan Wave. After that, you can recycle all of your inner power and give your units positive upgrades. In general, anything increase the attack speed, range, and damage come first. The next is the Devour upgrades. It helps, but not that much. At the last wave on Torment Plus, the Hybrid Behemoths ignored Toxic, so you don't need that for the last round. Here is an unsuccessful and unfortunate attempt on Torment Plus. Made it to the last round easily, but unfortunately I did not find the Queen. You're a real inspiration, friend. You will find 100% success at the lower difficulties like this Torment attempt. Another thing I want to mention here, the red card copying trick has been gone. I believe that enlistment no longer work, uh, converting red card into gold. But there are other ways to duplicate units in the red cards, and I'm working on it. A bit more complicated, but still doable. 